what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore stunned some listeners when he fixed his raggedy ass mouth to say that America was great during the era of slavery. He said this a couple of months ago and of course, Alabama, to be exact, Florence, Alabama. Back in September, one of the few African Americans who was in the audience stood up and asked the candidate, when is the last time America was great? This fool said this, I think it was great at that time when families were united. Even though we had slavery, they cared for one another. Our families were strong. Our country had a direction. This is him responding to an LA Times reporter by the name of Eric Columbus, who resurfaced his comments in a tweet on Thursday, along with the caption, can't make this up. You really can't. You don't have to. It's America. It's the backwoods ass America has always been, the racist ass America, with racist leadership that has always been. Nothing changed. They just kind of went under for a while. Got a little covert with it. But they full-fledged with it. Not because they got a president that's full-fledged with it. Got a president whose daddy was a car-carrying member of the KKK. And you know he's a car-carrying member. All of his buddies, all of them are linked with white supremacist organizations. All of them. KKK, everything. All of them have records that are very anti-civil rights. All of the people in this cabinet, they dirty, they low down, they're racist, they are what they are. That's why he picked them. I mean, he didn't even try to be slick with it. He went straight for, I mean, nominee after nominee after nominee. He went straight for the worst of the worst. All dividers, bona fide separatists. This dude is running for Senate in Alabama. At the top of the food chain when it comes to racist. One of the worst damn states in the United States. I don't even know why they still call it the United States because it's not United. It hasn't been United ever. Even just the name United States from, from the jump, just the, the way they hijacked the name and stole it. Man, it's just, it's all fake, man. It's all a facade. It's just fake. I think back to some of those socialite parties I've seen throughout the years where people are acting all dignified and, you know, they coming up in their nice cars and they're getting out with their nice dresses and their nice tuxedos and they got butlers and maids and everything is all pretty and nice and in pristine condition. And these motherfuckers is practicing some of the most vile acts known to man, enslaving human beings. And they walking around here like they're dignified and frowning on the people who they're oppressing. Like the people who they are oppressing are savages. Like they're doing them a favor by uprooting them from their homeland and enslaving them, oppressing them. Oh man. It's Alabama, man. You can't be surprised. And this dude, Rod Moore, is endorsed by Donald Trump. So that right there I tell you a whole lot. Question, how many Republicans does it take to hold a 14-year-old girl down? That ain't no joke. 
I'm dead serious. These people are the worst. They're the worst of the worst. The bottom line is that Alabama has a choice to make. Now, as much as, as much as people like to pick sides and you know be partisan about the parties that they belong to, Alabama has a choice. They can pick a Democrat or they can pick a pedophile. I don't have a lot of faith in Alabama picking or not picking the pedophile. I just don't. I think that they would like make a conscious decision and say, you know, yeah, I mean, he's a pedophile, but that's better than a Democrat. I really do believe it's a number. What well, they've already said, it. Donald Trump has definitely already said it. And, you know, Donald Trump is a sexual predator, too. He's a sexual predator. This is why, y'all, that there is a lot of activity going on with people getting exposed for sexual assault. More people in the history got to be in history getting exposed and being called out for sexual assaults. All of this is during a bona fide sexual predator's term in office as the United States of American president. You know, the United States of America's president. Listen, can't make this up. You really can't. There's absolutely no way that you could put a sexual predator in the White House and think that somehow America was going to do a better job of protecting victims of sexual assault. Donald Trump has to protect the sexual predators. He has to ignore the severity of the crimes because if he doesn't, he's going to shine a light on himself. What he's doing is going light on these guys and protecting these guys and standing by them, sticking with them, so that when it comes down on him and it gets harder for him to breathe, that somebody will give him a life jacket, that people will stick by his side and forgive him for his wrongs. That's what he's doing. He's setting it up. He's setting the play up. This pulse skin, gate mouth, cocksucker fixed his mouth to say that America was great during slavery. That is when America was at its greatest during slavery. The years before the Civil War was hardly a time of united families. You had enslaved black people being ripped apart from their families and sold individually on auction blocks. Many of them never saw their family members again. Think about what I'm saying. Somebody just come and snatch up your child and take them to another place you don't even know where and do God knows what with them. Snatch up your wife, snatch up your husband, your son, your grandmother, your grandfather and do whatever they want to do with them. You have no idea where they are. But America was great and the families were united. Next, these clown ass fuckers is going to be saying that Jews were in a better place when they were in concentration camps. Yeah, they'll be saying that, hey, well, at least they had food and, and shelter and they got free tax. And how in the hell do these, the hell do these type of people, how do the masses allow these type of people to rule, to be in front of them? That's why when I see these people in some of these other countries going crazy and 
running up, the, running the president, smooth up out of the office, like forcing him out with force, with violence. Man, I'd be like, yeah, get his ass. Cause I know if it take all of those, for all of those people to decide, now nah, you got to go. We rather die than allow you to lead us. This is it. I know it's something that he had to do real, real bad for it to get that bad. For people to just say, man, I'd rather die than to live like this. Heard somebody say that Trump is gonna take us back to the 1850s. I'd be damned. Not in my lifetime. I ain't gonna see it. I can guarantee you I won't see it. I'm gonna do everything I got. I'm gonna give it everything I got. Ain't no way. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna be a slave for one fucking day. I can guarantee you that. People have lost their minds, man. But you know what's really, really interesting, y'all? Rob Moore, Donald Trump, and everybody in that White House, all those people in Congress, just about every single one of them, including their constituents, consider themselves Christians. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.